we are live. This is the Tough Shit Podcast, the show originally inspired by Tough Crowd. I am your co-host, JQ. I'm your co-host, Charming. He's a faggot, in case you didn't know. You I couldn't know tell what? by the purple shirt. I like to wear... And the um, rainbow colored and the rainbow. That's You're Jamaica, so, bitch. He's so good. <laughs> Look at your two cocks on your chest, is that? <laughs> and I'm the gay one. Uh, I love it. I love it. Uh, so this fucking show was... Uh, the first idea was we're going to remake Tough Crowd. And that failed miserably. Yeah. Um, it was just a fucking horrible disaster. Mm-hmm. But within that, we found the little gem, which now we coined Tough Shit. Tough Shit. The podcast where we both bring two topics to the table. Yeah. We take turns dishing them out, and we just fucking talk about it. And if you don't like it, Tough, tough Shit. shit. Yeah, don't <laughs> suck somebody off. That stupid little clip you put in. <laughs> well, if you don't like it, then tough That's shit. That's the shit. You should see the video. Somebody out there, some freak is going to find the video clip that I use for that. But it's just some dweeb like, on the driver's seat. Uh, fucking turning back to the per- his boy, whoever's recording him. And he's like, well, he, yeah, you know. He looks like he has his hair combed back. He's like, well, yeah, for, of course, if you don't like it, then tough shit. Tough shit. shit. Then tough shit. All right, my man. So... Do you want? How do you want to do this? Do you, oh, you know what we should do? Yep. Rock paper scissors. Who goes mm. first on the topic? Let's do it. You down? You yeah. I've never been good at this. <laughs> That's it. what she told me. <laughs> ah, goddamn it! <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, you're up first, sir. So let's see what I have for you. Did you listen to the um, news report that a Fitbit leads to the arrest of a woman's uh, possible murderer? What the fire did? What the Fitbit? You know, oh the Fitbit. Fitbit. Okay, uh huh. Led to her Fitbit. Led led to to her murder. Just to her getting killed. No, her Fitbit led to her the arrest of the person that possibly murdered her, which is her husband. Holy shit! White people. I'm assuming. Of course. Oh yeah, white people always kill their. (laughs) It's always killing their (laughs) significant other. But it makes sense because the white people divorce is the most money sucking divorce. Oh, of course. Like uh, when Hispanic, when Mexicans get divorced, you just kind of like, yeah, fuck them. And then you actually, they don't get divorced. They just hate each other for the rest and, of their fucking and lives. They live their miserable lives together. Exactly. But they tough that shit out. But the white people, they milk that shit. So mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure there was some kind of divorce happening. And then this was. They hate kill. each other. And, but then they use that vindictiveness later right. to try to kill each how other. How did that, how did that happen? How did that come about? So you. Well, this is what happened. So the guy had called in and said, um, or called the police my and said, is missing. "Yeah, my, no, yeah, <laughs> no, my my wife um, has been shot." And um, and then they they brought him in the, with my wife, gun, but it wasn't me. <laughs> my gun. The wife was was dead, and and he said, "This is how it happened. I was tied up, and there's a masked man that mm. came and started black. torturing me. Possib- most most <laughs> likely black, black cause there's." Black people do all the all the bad things in this world, and <laughs> um, and he was tied up, and he said that he was being tortured, and then his girl came back home after the gym, and she got shot, and she saw this, and he, apparently he's like, and I yelled out, "Run, run!" Yeah. and she ran down the basement, right. um, and this happened, and he heard a shot, and then this happened like at nine, I think, from the, what the story says. Okay, but. Um, he said he gave time frames, and then but then they saw movement after that time, and a lot of movement. Oh, in the Fitbit. so there was a tussle going interesting, on. Interesting, interesting. So he's saying, "Wait, what? You said she ran downstairs. It's only a hundred feet down there, but she moved like a thousand feet. Like she moved hella feet. Interesting. Yeah, so that's why. Like, so your time frames don't match, and she moved. Something was happening. Right, right. At the time that so that's the. Uh, that's a positive story on the, and I'm a big tech guy I fucking love technology I think the I think the direction we're going is a little weird but it's mm. I love that shit but that's one of the positives with technology but you can then even take it to the other side with the negative where like the uh, Pokemon shit when dudes were creating Pokestops or doing things like that to yeah. lure people in to then jack them for their phone or do whatever <laughs> that shit it's it's a weird, it's a double-sided coin, man. Like, you you have some good shit like this, which you, they can look at the technology and say, yeah. yeah, this isn't, your story doesn't add up because of what the tracker's telling me. And then you have the shit where, like, people use it against the fucking thing. It's crazy. They, people always abuse technology. Yeah. Hasn't that been the fact? Well, so I was actually, I was talking to my pops about this once, where 
technology as a thing, and this can apply for various things, but technology as a thing is just that thing. There's no negative and there's no positive to it. It's people who make it negative or positive, right? Of course. Like, the internet is just that. It is the internet. It is a mm-hmm. network that connects computers. That's all it is. Whether you're putting up kitty porn or you're putting up information on a regular to... porn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, what's wrong with that? What's, what's wrong, wrong with, with the kitty porn? What's up with the... <laughs> to start from. Um, whether you're putting up that or you're putting up something positive, it's the people coming into that that are making it good or bad but oh, yeah. as a thing it's just it's neutral it's a thing you think somebody knows that they're like like I remember <laughs> that they're putting up kitty porn yeah, I'm pretty porn. sure someone or they, that they're making te- a technology that might be uh, foul like uh, there was uh, the, the man I don't know I forgot his name but the man that created the WikiLeaks uh, atomic ba- no oh. the atomic bomb the first oh, atomic okay. bomb his like before he finished it, or I think when he finished it, he, mm-hmm. he quoted a fucking old book. I forgot what the book it was, too. Uh, but he, he, something something along the lines, he said something along the lines of, uh, I am become de- uh, death, destroyer of worlds. Like, and That's this is fucking the, epic. Isn't that foul? Yeah, but he like, knew. Oh, for sure well, you know. Well, he, he knew because he, his, like his instinct, that I think people is, is progressing, right. so let me do, I know my science, and let me try to make what I can Using all my fucking expertise, right, right? And I'm gonna create this, but then, oh shit, I created something. Yeah, something foul. foul. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think, yeah, I think it depends. Um, I think some people do know. I just recently met a uh, young buck. He, mm-hmm. he's, um, he builds military drones. Mm-hmm. Now he knows this shit isn't being used to pack cats. No. Like, this, this shit is used to kill motherfuckers. Yeah. Um, and sometimes, yeah, sometimes they just do some shit and they don't really know what the repercussions of it is or what people are gonna use it for Mm -hmm. i think for the most part you fucking know like i was listening to the creators of uh, was it twitch twitch is the game streaming right they actually kind of created live streaming years ago and they kind of they kind of stumbled onto uh, vlogging and they found that people were pretty much saying hey do some shit because this is boring just watching you and they would call the cops on him and they would set that guy up because they knew because they wanted some entertainment value and then they when they first started doing live streaming they got in trouble for like people live streaming pay-per-views and shit like that but they were also seeing people kill themselves and doing all this horrific shit on there that was never their intention their thought process was never like oh we're recording this so people can put out to the world some foul shit it's more of like i just did this to connect people or to do whatever the mm-hmm. fuck it is so i think it, yeah i think it well, depends I think, I think you forget i think you forget that there's that foul shit going uh, on yeah actually yeah there. i can see that yeah. so so it's happening i can see that but yeah. now people just have an outlet for it <laughs> right 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 yeah. which actually leads me perfectly to now my topic oh. Ah, oh. little segue oh. so my topic that i wanted to bring up is the killings on Facebook Live. Facebook Live. I don't know if you've seen any of this shit, because I know you're not too much into it. I, you know what? I, I don't have any of that social media th- right. stuff, except like Snapchat. Right. Because that's I, for the dick pics. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> How are you supposed to get nudies? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I've, heard it about, I've heard about it anyways. Yeah, so I'll walk and, you through a couple of the examples. Sure. Uh, the first one was a guy in Cleveland, a black guy in Cleveland, and I don't... I rarely look into the details of it, so I don't really look into the details of it. But from what I understood was, that was a, this black guy from Cleveland who got dumped by this girl, and he went on a, he just went sh- batshit crazy. So he was on Facebook Live and he was saying, "I'm just gonna kill someone randomly right now," and um, he was saying that he's in in the same Facebook Live rant. He's saying that he's killed dozens before and blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And the the sad shit on this one was he. He saw this old man walking by, a 70-year-old black man. This is in Cleveland, Ohio. And he gets out of the car, and he tells him, Hey, excuse me, sir, which was funny to me, because he approached him really proper. Oh, excuse me, sir, excuse me, sir. And he's like, yeah, he's like, what's up, young blood? And then he uh, he's like, can you say, I forgot, like Jane Cook or some shit like that, whatever the name of the broad was. Can you say the name? And he's like, what? He's like, yeah, just say the name. And then so he says it, which is, he's like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Um, and he's like, it's because of her that this is happening. And he pulls a gun out. He's fucking Facebook live in it. He pulls a gun out, just pops him in the sidewalk. Uh, so then there was this fucking manhunt. Like, I was fucking find this guy. He's saying he's killed others and, oh, she's going to keep killing or whatever, right? So that was the first one. And then there was another article that I read of a, 
of a um, man from the from Thailand. It was either Thailand or the Philippines who killed his 11 year old daughter, threw her off a building, and then threw himself off a building because he was in fear that his wife was gonna leave him, and that was like the whole bullshit behind it. Wow. So what are your fuck? What are your thoughts on that shit? You see, you see, I've, at least I've seen like on YouTube. Um, through I think it's through Instagram videos and and Facebook um, stuff that people self snitch on the, uh, themselves. They like sometimes you have these uh, these uh, motherfuckers flaunting money and it's like I just robbed this bank, nigga, and it's like, dude, <laughs> you like you're just snitching on yourself. Like that's right. did you know? I, I think somewhere on the Facebook page at the very bottom, from what I remember, um, it says um, that it's a it's a product used by the FBI. Like they're gonna. Use that right. against you. Right. And that's, man, that's, that speaks more to the dumb shit. Like the dumbness of people. Even, I know mm. the dumbness is not even a word, but <laughs> the dumbness of people where they just want to fly. I don't know. They just want to fucking flaunt it for flaunt whatever it. fucking reason. A little while ago, there was uh, two uh, t- people from Chicago, two kids there. It's, it's mostly kids, too. A lot of the times, this dude was older. Yo, no, this uh, guy was fucking bearded. He looked like you, kind of. He had the yeah. <laughs> fucking beard. I've killed like 25 people already <laughs> on Facebook Live. I, that's why I don't have uh, Facebook connected with you, like with you, with family members. <laughs> so we don't have see a, like, it. a side of one. Yeah, I have friends, a bunch killings. of evil friends that I, <laughs> I show the killings. So. Keelys. <laughs> That's for the Keelys. <laughs> but uh, but now that you've uh, there was the two little teenagers speeding up like a like a mentally uh, retarded kid. Yeah, and it was like I saw some of them. I asked, "What the hell?" Just and they were saying because it was they were talking shit. Oh come on, Whitey! And I, but I was like, "What? Why? Why do you do that? Like, I don't know, why? Why record yeah. this?" Which is leads me to to think that. People haven't evolved too much. Mm-mm. Like we still very, we still have a lot of very primitive um, desires and thoughts, and we can have better tools. We have, we're sophisticated in the tools we have, but we're not sophisticated in the thought process. Mm-mm. And that's, I would say, majority of people. And it might be a while until we develop a better understanding, a better, a better flow of it. I don't know how. How? What do you think? Would people care more for? What? Where does that? Like where does we, that fucking evil come from? From some of these people, some some foulness that they do. Fuck if I know, man. I think it's just. I think everyone copes with shit differently. Mm. Yeah, you and I, we've we've had some serious conversations on people you've lost or shit that happens to you, and you mm. just laugh it off, or we just make some bullshit joke of it, or yeah. we do this. Yeah. Um, and some people are just fucking. I don't know, bro. They don't have an outlet, and they're just no. weird. Well, it's funny. I'll pull it up again. It's funny because you laugh about it and you bullshit through, and and then so you just get hit once sometimes. Right. Like well, because it doesn't I, go away. Oh no, no, no! It doesn't fucking go away. You laugh at it consistently. That way, it's not eating away up at, at you, you yeah. consistently. But it doesn't. No, it doesn't fuck no. It but you can't away. really stave it off. You can You can laugh all you want, but it. But you're gonna have to feel that emotion. Sometimes time heals all wounds. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. Uh, all right, fuck it, whatever, man. Next topic. What do you? What do you got? All right, bitch. Uh, we got <laughs> bitch. <laughs> so <laughs> we have a Latino Uber driver. Ooh, Latino. Latino. I like how you fucking put the accent I on know, it. Because if it was me, I would put a Latino. 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 Ooh, Latino. A Latino, uh, Latino. <laughs> a Latino Uber driver sexually assaults a woman in LA. That's sexy. And it's and I keep seeing things like this, not not with Uber, but I keep seeing uh, news reports of of little whether it be was Mexicans she, or was she um, white or was she Mexican? She's white. Too? The white chick. Yeah. So so they're using. I feel like the some of these media outlets are using that like against like, or to show subliminally support for Trump's wall and shit and then cause oh, anytime I go to the bottom yeah. at the comments cause I always the comments of the it's just like <laughs> oh that's another fucking uh, spick that got in town or whatever like right, just right, hate right, right. and I'm like hey that's what you're using right this is what Yahoo's doing or this is what Applies is doing yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you put these things yeah. out yeah interesting Roberto Sanchez is like oh fuck that's What's my cousin doing online? I <laughs> <laughs> told that book. I told him, don't. <laughs> lift. Bitches and lift. <laughs> they let you fuck. <laughs> I actually, I'm, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't take it that way at all. My thought was going back to what we were talking about. Like, the humanity itself is not 
hasn't changed. It's just the technology we have available to us. But I, I think, and I have to say that mo- there has to be other races or other people that have sexually assaulted people through Uber. But why is this news? Like, there has to be, right? Yeah. Well, I was going to say, there. there's a lot of, like, sexual abuse that happens on college campuses yeah. with frat dudes, predominantly mm-hmm. white. And it's not... We've had... There's been some shit that comes out, but a lot of it is just... It just happens. Swept the way up. And it, yeah, and uh, fuck it. I mean, it is what it is, but it... You know what? I'm, I'm going to take back... Something I said earlier where majority of people are fucked up because cause they're not, I don't think actually. No. Because I do a fair amount of traveling and I meet a d- decent people and everyone's great that I meet. But there is, I think there is, I, I don't know, I think it goes back to the fucking media. Like it is a lot of, that's the clickbait. That's the entertainment. Show that shit. What they should fucking do, which sounds very fucking uh, kumbaya of me, is as much bullshit they show, they should show them as, as much as normal shit. Just oh, yeah. normal. Today a cat, the purse. No, I wouldn't even say that. No, <laughs> I'm fucking cat. I know. <laughs> it would just be like um, I don't know, a couple of mixed racial buddies hanging out and having beers. <laughs> <laughs> but would you be like, all right, that's the... <laughs> no? I, I mean, you gotta fucking do something with it, I guess. I but I, that's what I'm just saying. Let's like, make up one right now. What what can what can be a good. What would one? What would be clickbait, but in the in a good way? In a good fucking way, yeah. You know, because um, people Mike, love to see no, I know, I know. somebody see else's some foul uh, shit. somebody else's misery or somebody else's uh, misfortune. And that's the thing, man. We can sit here and say, "Oh, it would be nice to see," but it's not going to happen. No, because since, I wouldn't want to watch. No, it. because since the Gladiator days, yeah. you want to see some horrible shit. Mm-hmm. You don't. That's why there was public hangings and public burning, and it wasn't like a hey. Even how many people go to fucking award ceremonies? Fucking tons. No, I meant the opposite. You meant the opposite. Well, a lot. Well, a lot of people want to go if it's celebrities. Oh yeah, but oh, I'm that's saying what I was thinking a fucking a local award ceremony. Oh no, nobody or like that is not connected in any way to that. Right. Oh, nobody. Exactly. I, I thought you meant like celebrity. No. Shit. Okay. Exactly. Like, um, my girl just did a something in City Hall where they gave this little Mexican kid mm-hmm. um, an award of bravery because he called the police department because his uncle was like dying or something and he was calm he was like a yeah. 10 year old he, and they they played back the uh, sound mm-hmm. and and local news covered it but it wasn't like a big main thing um but so he's calls he's like oh what's going on you know 911 how can i help you he was like oh you know my uncle's like, oh, like, oh well he's diabetic and he's just calm just calm as can be so they gave him a, an award of bravery or whatever but while they're sh- even though the local media uh, covered it they showed a pan of the audience and it was like Five people in a f- fucking city hall arena. That's crazy. Yeah, and that's just. But it's yeah, it's like we said. But it's know, like people it's, don't want to watch nice. This shit. is what you'll see. You'll see the you'll see the, um, the topic, and you'll be like, oh, that's nice. You won't click on yeah. it. No, nah. uh, bunch of <laughs> a bunch of people steal the Mona Lisa. Oh shit! Yeah, a uh, uh, new artist <laughs> painter. A uh, new. Uh, it's funny because as soon as you said that, I was like, "That happened really?" In my head. <laughs> oh like, shit! Is that the next topic? Hey, look that up. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck it, man. But that's what it is, man. People like to see bad shit, and that's why we have a show called Tough Shit. Because that, because you, because because people want to hear and say, "Oh, what kind of crazy shit are they saying?" They want to. People want to mute um, the realities of this of this world. They want to mute. Uh, so okay. Um, you should be accepting of of uh, gay people, sure, sure, and and that that would be in the nice world that'd be nice. Right. And I don't have anything against gay people or any race, any other racial anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if there are people out there that are that want to see them die, that want right, to see right, black right, people right. die, Mexicans right, die. Right, right, right. There's people out there that oh, that you cannot change that mindset of. Yeah, and, that's that's a trip to me. Yeah, that's a big fucking trip to me because I we we say fucking racist jokes, sexist mm-hmm. jokes. We just talk a bunch of shit all the time. But there's no real hatreds towards any of it. No. And there's some people out there who really fucking to their core. Mm-hmm. It's just and it trip. should be allowed. I mean, they should be believe what they want to believe as long as it's, they're not actually uh, harming anybody. They can believe what they want to believe and say what they want to say with the people that want to hear it and let talk to them. That's, that's, yeah, because you can't be hypocritical and say, oh, no, they can't fucking speak their mind. 
But I think... <laughs> but social media um, and these people advocating for for um, acceptance yeah. are actually not accepting No, no, they're fucking people. hypocritical Yeah, shit, they're hypocritical. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, no, like, fuck you. Right, right. Fuck <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, speaking of social media, this l- leads me perfectly to oh. my next uh, topic. All yours are led perfectly. <laughs> oh, this leads me uh, perfectly That's to what I have to it's say. It's not my fault you don't know how to segue. Oh, this, uh, all I have to say is this leads me <laughs> perfectly. <laughs> into, I, I just have to have a dick in my ass and say this leads me yeah, yeah. perfectly. So... That was that was two of your topics, right? Yeah. You're covered. Which yeah. leads me, <laughs> which leads you believe. <laughs> Shit. Uh, All right. Um, this was a this was a funny topic because I have no idea what your your thoughts are gonna be on it. I don't. I really that never didn't make me feel any kind of way, but I just thought this would be funny to present to you. So, speaking of social media, recently. Um, there there was some pictures I don't know if it was a paparazzi or who it was but they took pictures of Kim Kardashian naturally mm-hmm. no fucking photoshop nothing and you see big ass and it's almost like like a, it's not it's, it's not sexy it's yeah. just a, it's like a a middle aged woman with a big ass you know what I'm saying like yeah, those yeah. big Mexican like like this, had five kids and just, she, she and, has a and, fat ass yeah, but yeah. it's just like gross this wash her ass yeah. just yeah like cottage cheese yeah, yeah, just yeah. disgusting so they, 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 she was on the beach and they have some pictures of him and shit. Mm. And so I think her thought process was like, I'm going to beat him to the punch and I'm going to post it on my own Instagram before I post it, before they start blasting and talking a bunch of shit. Yeah. I mean, people still talk shit, but she posted it and that led to, I mean, keep in mind she has like 60 or 80 million followers oh, on it. It's ridiculous. Nice. But that led her to lose hundreds of thousands of subscribers because people removed we're, it we're so sold on the I don't know if I don't when we can discuss this I don't know if one people were like you lied to me all the shit you do is photoshop and I'm, I'm appalled by it or oh, that's what your ass really looks like yeah that kills my fantasy or what it really was but what the fuck what's your initial thoughts on that shit she wow. lost hundreds of thousands hundreds of people of following of her because of a natural cottage cheese ass picture that's a weird one Soak it in, bud. Oh. It's a nasty. It's. I mean, it's. it's not, not, I know I'm exaggerating, but <laughs> but it's a picture that it's the it's not because everything you see but it's flawless. You think you think she may, maybe was losing subscribers before this, or they, was there a drastic dip to kind of uh, to kind of say, or it makes it kind of seem like oh, it's because. And it's funny picture. you say that. It's funny you ask that in that way because. That's why I said she has like 60, 80 million, so 100,000 ain't shit. No. In my thought process, when I saw this, I'm like, why is this news? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> why does it, fu- why? Why does it fucking matter? That her real ass is kind of cheesy? That her natural picture. Oh, no, that, that caused this. Uh, that dip in. And then someone said, I have to write an article about this. A fuck like a journalist yeah. had to sit down and write a five hundred to eight hundred word article <laughs> and upload it within all the shit that's going on in the world oh, that they course. have to report on. Uh-huh. They made this a priority to be like, I have a deadline for this. I have to write it. I have to wow. do a draft. I have to reread it. I have to share it with the colleague. Yeah. Colleague has to proofread it. Then I have to share it to my boss. And then my boss mm-hmm. has to read it and approve it. And then we're gonna. Upload it onto news. That's feed. interesting. I think I think because people want to catch the waves. So she's been on a on a wave yeah. for a while. She's been winning. She's been winning. Oh, yeah. And there's people that are popular that um, the the general public will automatically click on their shit and watch I mean, I their did. stuff. You did. <laughs> I would have. Yeah. All right, let's see it real loud. So yeah. you, but it's like there's people that you follow that you know it's gonna garnish a lot of other uh, people wanting to look at this article because right. I see that all the time with Donald Trump. He is the new like the media outlets love him, yeah, yeah, yeah. hate him or love people. The uh, general public hate him or love him. They don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. They'll click on his stuff. Anything. Now, look at <laughs> anything minute. Like look at the way he responds to this news reporter. I'm not gonna talk to you or some shit like that. No. <laughs> and, I'm like, and, and that's I'm it. Like, <laughs> and that's it. Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> that's my white voice. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to you. 
Why? <laughs> it's funny because I I had just seen a um I seen a video where he's giving a purple heart to um to a army guy who lost his leg, and he said congratulations to him. In his head, I'm think I'm thinking he's thinking congratulations. You got an award, but people are like, why are you saying congratulations to a guy that lost his leg in a war? You should be thank you for your service. But this guy's a he's a bozo. Yeah, I guess it makes sense, but it's... Uh, and ABC had posted this, which is another thing to me. It's like, why? Why the... F- why? After all the bullshit that he's doing, that's more serious. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to post about this guy. But it's so like what you're saying. They're feeding into that. Oh, you hate him here? I'm going to feed into him. Anything. It anything was the perfect thing. Him. Scrutinized. It was the perfect thing if you ever watched Howard Stern's movie where they were saying... Um, when Howard Stern first came out, they were saying... What's the average listen time for a Howard Stern viewer, right? Or for a listener. The regular radio, they were saying it was 15 seconds. And they were saying, for Howard Stern, an average viewer who likes him, 30 to 45 seconds. Average listener. Oh, sorry. Fuck, I keep saying that. Average listener, 30 to 45 seconds. Yeah. An average listener who hates him was a minute and a half to two minutes. That's funny. <laughs> because, you know what? A lot of these articles and things I read about... Um, cause I, <laughs> I go on there because I'm like, I'm, I just want to hate on the, I want to hate this on the comments <laughs> and I'll, yeah, I just want to hate on the, on the subject matter. Yeah. It comes back all full it comes circle, back all man. Around, man. We like, love to just this, see bad <laughs> shit. <laughs> like I saw like a, like a, um, like a grouping of women, like a Berkeley walking for uh, women's rights. Right. And I'm like, Oh God. And I, and I, and I despise that. I loathe the, just any March or anything. Like, oh jeez. Yeah, yeah. But I clicked on it and I'm and I'm reading this just so I can be like, oh look at this girl. Oh she's <laughs> We're such like little sissies, bro. Oh yeah. Oh my god, here we go so again. Fucking and I'm catty. reading through it. Huh? We're catty just catty. That's what the fuck we talk, are. We just wanna talk shit and, and see yeah. feed into our sh- personal shit the... talk. Fuck it, man. The moral of the story for this episode is we're just two chatty cathies. Two chatty cathies. <laughs> Well, that wraps up this episode of Tough Shit. I'm your co-host, JQ. And I'm Charmy. Charmy. He's really not. I'm very Charmy. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Fuck you.